Our society is set up to deliver terrible financial advice. Here's how you avoid it. If you're building a house, you need to have several specialists all working off of the same plan, the blueprints, right, in order to build things correctly. You've got your framers and your roofers and your electricians, floors, trimmers, all that, and they're all specialists. They know their craft. They hopefully know it well. And they all need to be working in unison off of the same plans. You can't have your kitchen specialist put in a 10-foot island if you only have room for a 4-foot island, right? Your floorer would have no idea how much hardwood or carpet to buy if they didn't know the plans, the square footage, the layout, all of that. Why isn't your financial life set up that way? I've been having some unusual kind of minor health issues this year. My hip, my wrist, my elbow, my back. My goodness, I'm falling apart. So they sent me to see a a, a hip specialist and then a hand and wrist orthopedist. And then they said, maybe it's rheumatological. And so go see one of those specialists. I've been getting the runaround really for a year to see all these specialists. And I still, honestly, I still don't have any answers. None of these specialists were on the same page and working together. They're all great doctors. They just haven't been working together. So if I asked you where you would go, what's the best place if you had abnormal health issues? Yeah, you'd all say the Mayo Clinic, right? And it's not because they have better doctors. Yes, they have great doctors there. But so are the specialists that I've seen. The difference is at Mayo, they have a team approach. They're all working together to analyze and build one diagnosis and one treatment plan. And that results in better outcomes. Why isn't your financial life set up that way? When you go off to college and you're trying to earn a degree in engineering, say, or some other technical field, do you just have one teacher who covers everything, kind of like elementary school? No, you have experts that each teach their specialty but it's all coordinated together. You're not taking biology 401 as your first class in college, right? Why isn't your financial life set up that way? I could go on, but let me give you one more example that illustrates this, but illustrates how our society is set up to give terrible financial advice. So the example is if you wanted a car and not just any car, the best car, right? You went out and you did all your research and you're like, okay, I'm going to get the best of the best. So I'm, I'm getting a, a BMW engine, a Porsche suspension, Ferrari body. But you know what? I like the doors of that DeLorean, right? The technology, the dash of the Tesla. You've got the best of the best. You did your research. You went and talked to those experts to make sure, yeah, they're the best in this area. And you got all those pieces. You couldn't even drive that car. You wouldn't be able to fit it together. Those parts don't all work together because they're not, they weren't built working together in one plan. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't get a car that way. But that's how our society is set up to deliver financial advice. It's a terrible model. You've got your banking relationship. You've got your insurance agent. You've got your CPA, or maybe you just do your taxes yourself online. And then that guy or gal who helps you, your company with your 401k, well, you've got them. But then you've got your IRA with someone else who calls himself a financial advisor, but they really just manage that account. They have no idea what anything else is going on in your financial life. Maybe you have a Vanguard account on your own as well that's separate than that. And then by the way, there's that one attorney that you saw that one time to set up your will. That's how it's done. I mean, that's how we do our financial life. And that car doesn't drive because you're the one that's supposed to take all of those pieces from those experts and put it together and they don't fit. Each of those areas has their own agenda, their own plan, if you will. Your insurance agent probably wants you to buy as much insurance as possible. He wants to spend as little as possible. The person helping you manage your IRA might try to sell you something or might just be looking at that one piece to say, hey, this is how it should be structured, but really don't know if that's in concert with the other investments you have. The bank wants you to borrow as much as possible, but you want to pay as little interest as possible. All the while, you're trying to fit all those pieces together to see how much house you can afford, how much you need to save up to be able to retire someday, maybe pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime or put your kids through college or set something up so that if something happens to you or your spouse, your family's taken care of. You're trying to put all those pieces together to answer real life questions. You can't answer those questions and get the clarity and confidence in your financial life with disconnected pieces. Working with all those experts, each with their own agenda, means you have five or six plans 
but you really need all those financial experts in your life to work in unison. You need one plan. This is how it works when you're building a house, when you're building a car or trying to find a car you can actually drive, when you're trying to get the best medical care, when you're trying to learn something, get educated, and I could go on, but that's how it's supposed to work with one plan. So how do you do that? You need a certified financial planner who is a fiduciary and who is doing comprehensive financial planning with you in all six areas of your financial life. Not someone who just helps you with investment, maybe call themselves a financial planner, but they're, they're not helping you in all six areas of your financial life. You need someone analyzing each area, how they interrelate, and then giving you advice based on that synergy and working with the other experts in your life to carry that plan out. Your present financial position is connected with your insurance and protection plan, which is connected to your tax plan, which is connected to your investment strategy, which is connected to your long-term goals like retirement and college. And that's all connected to your estate plan. All six areas of your financial life are connected. And I would argue you cannot make a great decision in your financial life without looking at how that decision impacts each of those six areas. That's how it's supposed to work. And sadly, our society and the financial services industry is just not set up for that. But there are a few firms that do it. And thanks to technology, no matter where you live, you can work with a certified financial planner who actually does comprehensive financial planning. My firm does that. We call it One Plan. And there's several other firms across the U.S. who actually do it. So if you feel like your financial life is disjointed, disconnected, and you have multiple professionals, but none of them are working together, you need the clarity, confidence, and the creativity that comes with working with a certified financial planner in comprehensive financial planning, which we call One Plan. Leave a comment below if you agree, you disagree, something I missed, you would argue with me, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so that you're up to date on all Wise Money content and make sure that bell is turned on so you're notified of all future videos just like this one. All right, until next time, go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.